This is the Solo Gym V2, an ultra-budget Solo Duo bunker base with insanely low upkeep that gives you unparalleled protection and comfort with everything you need inside. It's super easy to build, there are no build-outs to make this bunker and it works on both PC and console. With this base, you'll get a full 360 degree view with no blind spots, two turrets on the outside that protects the entrance, one turret inside that protects the bunker, multiple loot rooms, lots of furnaces, unlootable TC and more. So with that said, let's get to the base tour. You can get inside the base by jumping up on the roof. Next to the door is a turret protecting the entrance, on the right is another turret looking the other way and there are two solar panels above the doorway. Behind the first door is a simple airlock that won't let you get in without breaking the second door. There's also a window at the entrance so you can see if anyone is camping you. Next we enter the main core. Here we are greeted by a turret that protects the base from the inside and two gun traps that won't let you in. On the left side we have the first loot room with 4 large and 4 small boxes. On the right is another loot room. In this corner you have a battery, turret, furnace and a few small boxes. Next let's go up to the shooting floor. Here you have a room for 2 beds and a 360 degree view around your base. And if you jump down you'll have an even better view thanks to these campfires. You won't be able to get to the first floor easily as the entrance is blocked by these stairs and there is a fully armored bunker underneath. Therefore, the first floor is completely protected. However, to open the entrance, all you have to do is respawn on your sleeping bag on the first floor and break this twig half wall. Now, nothing is blocking the entrance. On the first floor, there are several more gun traps, a sleeping bag, a workbench, electrical components, two large loot rooms, a furnace room with four furnaces, an unlootable TC that is hidden in this triangle. Here's a daily upkeep for this base and a total building cost. How many rockets do you think it would take to raid this base? Write your answers in the comments below. And now to the build. The first stage of this base is very easy to build. Place one square and a triangle and close this area with walls and add two wall frames. Upgrade your starter base to stone. Place a triangle frame here to make an unlootable TC in the future and cover it with a window. Don't forget to put in the double doors. You can fit two large boxes, two sleeping bags and a furnace into the square, which will be enough until you farm the resources to expand your base. So at this point your base will look like this. Therefore, your task is to farm 5000 stone as soon as possible to expand it. Next, we need to finish the first floor. To do this, place a square foundation here and add two triangles on the left. On the right, place one low triangle and two high triangles on the sides. Add one more low triangle here. You should end up with something like this. Cover this triangle with a regular wall and these two foundations with half walls but make sure all the half walls face outward, so they can be soft-sided. This will make the bunker more secure. And close the rest of your base with walls and ceilings. Here place two half walls and remove the bottom one to create the entrance to the bunker. You can use a furnace as a jump up at the beginning. And don't forget to seal this opening. Here make an entrance to the base, build two walls and add a doorway with a single door. Congratulations, you have completed the second phase of building this base. Next, let's go down to the first floor to set it up with everything we need. In this room, make a shelf and put four large boxes. This will be your first loot room. On the left, place a workbench and a furnace. Remove everything from the main loot room. On the right, you have enough space for 3 furnaces or a battery for future turrets. Build a shelf next to the TC to make it unlootable and place 4 more large boxes here. You can fit another furnace, one large and several small boxes in the remaining space. Remove the door and put it back to open outward so it doesn't block you. Here's a daily upkeep for this base. 
and here's what you'll get inside the main loot room. You'll have 9 large boxes, 6 furnaces and a few small boxes to start with. That's more than enough. And lastly, there's room for 3 sleeping bags next to the workbench. To close this bunker, pick up the furnace, stand on this triangle foundation and build a half wall. Then start jumping and put a triangle ceiling underneath you. Upgrade it to stone or metal. That's it, your bunker is ready. Now no one can get in without breaking the ceiling. To open this bunker, respawn on your sleeping bag and break the twig. The stone ceiling will break along the twig half wall and you'll be able to use the base as normal again. At this point you have a great starter base with lots of boxes and furnaces, but it's time to make a second floor. Before doing so, upgrade the main core into metal, if possible. To the left of the entrance, make a loot room. Build two walls with ceilings, another shelf inside. Make the main entrance to the base on the left. Build two single doorways, another window. On the other side, leave the honeycomb open, another shelf inside. This is where the turret will be in the future. On the right, cover everything with walls and ceilings, but leave this frame open. Here will be the exit to the shooting floor. To the left, make another loot room. Next, place all the boxes and doors. If you don't have garage doors, you can use a regular double doors. Here, place single doors like I'm showing you to make an airlock. If both doors are open, there is no way to get in because the second door is blocking the entrance. Cover the window with glass or whatever you like. On the outside, build two triangle honeycombs to the left and right of the exit, as I show. Next, build squares between them and cover them with roofs to make an entrance to the base. On top of these triangles, build wall frames. In the future, you can put two turrets here to protect the entrance. Repeat the same on the other side. Here you can build the regular honeycombs without wall frames. Next, build two more triangles on both sides for additional protection. You should end up with a completely symmetrical base. The second floor is finished. Now all we have to do is build the shooting floor, which is actually quite easy. First, climb to the roof of your base. In the center, place half walls as I show. And surround the main core with small walls on all sides. Now put two square frames in the middle and the triangle frames on the sides. Next, you need to put a roof on these frames, two regular roofs in the middle and triangle roofs on the sides. Now you have a 360 degree view from the inside while making it very difficult to see you from the outside, so you will have a huge advantage in PvP. And if you put campfires on these triangles, you'll have an even better view. Next, you can put a few beds in the center. On the second floor, place the turret on this shelf. From here, it will control the entrance to the base. Next, place two more turrets outside in the space it prepared for them. If you upgrade these frames into metal, their hitboxes become much smaller. This will give more visibility for your turrets. And at the end, close them with garage doors. On top, you have plenty of room to put some solar panels. 
Inside, you can put the battery next to the turret or move it to the first floor. Next, be sure to upgrade the ceiling into high wall. Also, upgrade this half wall on the first floor into high wall. Now, you can close the bunker and upgrade the ceiling into metal or HQM. But if you want to make this bunker even better, you need to remove the workbench, sleeping bags and furnace on the square. Next, place another triangle ceiling inside, put spiral stairs on it and upgrade it into metal. Now, no one from above can get through this doorway unless they break the twig from below. And to break it, they have to blow up the bunker. How many rockets do you think it would take to completely raid this base? Write your guess in the comments below. I'd also like to know what else could be improved in this base to make a V3 of Solo Dream. And if you haven't seen the first version yet, then I have a question. Do you start your wipe with a base like this? If so, you're lucky, because I'm going to show you how to turn a simple starter into a dream bunker base for solo or duo players. 